What's happening everybody? And welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. So today we are gonna talk about when do you breed your dog? Not saying what heat to breed him, although everybody knows that I breed on the second heat, but how to catch her on her ovulation days. When is your dog ovulating? When is it most fertile? And when is the best time to breed? We're gonna talk about AIs, we're gonna talk about natural breeding. We're gonna try to cover as much as we can in this video. All right, y'all. So, man, I get, I get this question asked so much, y'all. Everybody wants to know, when is the right time to breed their dogs? And I know a lot of people tell me like, man, if somebody doesn't know that, maybe they shouldn't be breeding. But you can't expect everybody to know everything. And at some point in time in my life, I didn't know myself and I had to reach out to somebody and somebody had to teach me and let me know or fill me in on um, what's the best time to breed inside your home. Yes, you can go to the vet, you can get a progesterone done, but just to, just to fill you in a little bit about the progesterone, um, if you go too early to the vet, have them pull the blood, run the progesterone uh, test to get a sample, if the levels are too low and they're not ready to breed, then what you do is you have to go back either the next day, skip a day, whatever, but you have to continue to bring your dog to the vet, you know? And once again, if you don't have the money to do that, then you shouldn't breed. You know, there's, there's, there's things that could be said about everything, but I truly believe in being self-efficient and handling the business myself. I've done three progesterone tests and I, I didn't um, I didn't have a litter on all three. You know, I had a vet tell me this is the right time. We done the breedings, we done good breedings, the dogs didn't take. Um, soon as I went on my own formula on what I know, I had uh, my litter of puppies. So a lot of people say a lot of different things but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna teach you how to be self-efficient, do it yourself. It's, it's, it's very good to, to learn your dogs, watch your dogs, um, and, and pay attention to their, their whole cycle. And I'll, I'll give you a little example of how I was taught. You know, um, someone told me that you gotta look at the whole heat cycle as 21 days. Okay now, but that's just a rule of thumb. I'm not saying that it's exactly 21 days. Every dog is different, we don't know that. But what I'm saying is, it's a good guide for you to follow. It's just a guideline to follow. You have seven days of swelling, seven days of bleeding, and then seven days of breeding, which is 21 days. So what I do is, I'm very observant of my dogs, y'all. I watch them constantly, all right? I'm always um, putting my hands on them. I'm always kind of like feeling them just to see, you know, how how their coats and how they reacting and how they doing, just getting a good assessment of my dogs. And if you're gonna be a breeder, that's what you're gonna have to do too. It's real good, it's real good practice to know your dogs, all right? It's real good practice to know your dogs. So when I start to see my males following females around, um, trying to lick on them, or just whenever I notice a little swelling, I just pay close attention to my dogs. That's all, I pay close attention to them. I watch them a little closer than I would normally. Um, I don't have to take a Q-tip and get a swab and look for blood or get a paper towel or whatever and stick it in and looking for blood. It's gonna drop, I, I'm patient. I just kinda pay attention to them, I look in the kennel, you're gonna start seeing the blood everywhere. So whenever you see that blood, what you do is you start to count, all right? You automatically give them seven days of the bleeding process, automatically. Some dogs only bleed one day, all right? I've had dogs that bled one day, and I think where a lot of people mess up when breeding they see the one day bleeding, they give about two or three days, and then they start breeding, but you're too early. And a lot of people wonder where those small litters come from, and I truly believe 
that when you breed your dog too early, if you actually catch them, you're gonna have a small litter. Catch them in their, their good days when they're ovulating and they're fertile and you're gonna have your big litters, but not to get too far off the topic. So when you see the first spot of blood, regardless, I don't care if they bleed one day, two days, or three days, give them a full seven days to bleed. So my dog bleeds, bam, I mark on the calendar. Say they bleed today, um, November the 4th, 2020. I mark on my calendar, first day of blood. I'm gonna count 10 days and I'm gonna start the breeding process on the 10th day. It's not even crucial to get that 10th day, but I like to get them and I breed 10, 11, day 12, skip 13, and breed 14 if she's still in heat, if she's still allowing me. A lot of times they don't even want anything to do with the male. Um, they start sitting down. They're not flagging you while you're trying to do the AI. They're not open anymore. They start closing up. So I'm gonna break down where I get my 10 days from, all right? So you got seven days of bleeding. While they're bleeding, you know that's where the old eggs are dying inside of them, all right? They're dying, they're flushing them, they're discharging all the blood, all the dead eggs. They're cleaning themselves out, okay? So during that process, you have to give two to three days after to let the eggs reproduce. If you go right after you stop bleeding, the eggs aren't reproduced yet. So you let the, the, the eggs start reproducing around 10, 11, day 12, they should be fully developed and fertile. All right? Now, I mentioned progesterone. You know, if you want to do the progesterone, I'll just give you um, a little helpful hint. If you do go for the progesterone, wait until day 10 or nine, wait till day nine to bring to your vet. That way when your vet pulls the blood, runs the tests, you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get a more accurate timing, all right? You're probably gonna be one or two days off, but it's the same process. Whether you breed 10, 11, 12, or you go get your progesterone at day 10 or nine, and they tell you to come back on day 11, you go back on day 11, and she's good. If you would have bred in those three days, you would have caught them at a good time. So, you know, just to, to get a full assessment of what we discussed, use your breeding, um, use your breeding guide as 21 days, seven days of swelling, seven days of bleeding, seven days of breeding. You might not see the first day that she starts swelling, all right? So wait till you see her fully swollen, start watching her, pay close attention. The first sight of blood, no matter what, give them seven days of the cycle, all right? Give seven days of the cycle, no matter what, all right? And then on day eight, imagine this. Now you got fresh eggs. Day nine, they're starting to um, produce. Day 10, they're really starting to produce. Day um, 11, they should be fertile. Day 12, they should be fertile. And she should be in her ovulation stage. All right? They're just like women, y'all. If y'all know anything about, the, um, about your ladies or women, you know your body. Um, after you go through your, your monthly cycle, you're really fertile after. And of course, that's because your eggs are your eggs are fertile, your eggs are um, reproduced, all right? So just a little rule of thumb, that's how you breed your dogs. That's the best time to catch them, you know? Watch your dogs, pay attention to them, and catch them in that good fertile state, and you're gonna get these type of results. You want your dog big pregnant, you want your dog to have a good healthy litter, follow the guide, y'all. 
I'm telling you, I'm not saying that I know everything. I'm not a vet, but it's a proven formula. Um, it, you, you guys see I'm always producing litters. I use the same formula every time. I don't change it. I actually did change it one time um, as I started growing. I started starting at the ninth day. <laughs> Excuse me. I started starting to breed at the ninth day. And my litter size dropped drastically. If I even caught them. Sometimes I, I wouldn't even catch them. When I went back to starting on the 10th day, just that one day made a drastic difference. And I was back to the 9, 10 puppy litter. 8, you know, and that's a real good litter, y'all. So just remember, start breeding on day 10. All right? First sight of blood, mark on your calendar. Give seven days for your dog to flush out the eggs. Day eight, nine, ten. Let those eggs reproduce. Start the breeding process. Breed day 10, 11, 12. Skip day 13 and 14 if your dog allows it. I hope this helped you guys out, y'all. If you breed like that, let me know. If you don't, let me know. You know, let me know what you do. If you find this video helpful, drop a comment. Let me know, man. I want to know. I want to know how y'all feel. I want to know what's on your mind. Um, so once again, man, thank you guys for all the love and support. Hit the subscribe button, y'all, if you're not subscribed. It's absolutely free. And the subscribe button is real helpful for y'all. Every time I drop these jewels, y'all, if you're subscribed and you got that bell set on all notifications, then YouTube is going to send you a notification letting you know that I dropped a video and you won't miss none of these uploads. Thank you for all the love and support. Have a wonderful day and God bless y'all.